Hey guys, I'm Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. Are we all calm and relaxed now, boys and girls? Good. Because I've had enough of that drama and toxicity, and I need a little bit of calm. Can I get... Yes. Do you guys watch that one guy's video? It's like called like Infinite Seas or something. He's always like, can I get a peaceful? Yeah. I cannot watch that guy's videos. I just cannot watch them anymore. Like I tried to watch a couple of them and I was like, enough. I don't even buy this guy's shtick. So anyway, all right. What are you guys doing? <laughs> are you having a great month of July? If you watch my last video, you know that I questioned whether or not we should call the month of July, July or Julie? <laughs> Julie? I can't remember. June, July, August. I think Julie. I like Julie better. Anyway, my July to be R. Okay, now let me explain to you. <laughs> what did they used to call this? I can't remember. Squids? Anyway, let me explain to you why I'm doing this video. You may be asking yourself, Peter, didn't you just do a super summer magical mystical TBR? I did. I did. I actually did. And I did like 400 books. And you're probably thinking, how the hell are you going to get to those books? I don't know. And I don't care. But I really thought about this for a long time. And I thought, I'm going to do July to be read because I have like 50 books over there. I just keep on buying books. And now I'm just stuffing them in my bookshelf. And I just, I love buying books. So I'm going to keep on buying books. And every time somebody recommends a book to me, I write it down on this pad of paper that I have. And then when I go to half price books, I like find it. And then of course I have to buy it. And half of them I don't even talk about on my book hauls. Ooh, it's hot in here. So anyway, I wanted to pick out like nine or 10 books that I could like aim towards reading this June. July? It's July. I always make these huge mistakes in my videos, and I'm like, I know I should edit them out, but I don't edit. So anyway, um, I wanted to pick out nine or ten books that I could kind of focus on trying to get done in the month of July, and so that's my plan. Now, I will tell you guys this, because I know there's this huge mystery surrounding Booktubeathon and what I think about Booktubeathon, and am I going to participate in Booktubeathon? Well, I want it to remain a secret. So if you guys want to watch my thoughts on Booktubeathon, you can go watch my Booktubeathon to do or not to do video. If you haven't watched it already, what are you doing with your life? Anyway, that's my question for the day. But if I was going to participate in it, none of those books would affect this in any way. So let's go ahead. So here's the deal. Right now, I am reading so many books. Ah, they just fell on the floor. I'm reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Summer Days and Summer Nights by Stephanie Perkins. I'm reading, uh, please hold. You guys are like, seriously, Peter, edit those damn videos. Okay, and then I'm reading Helter Skelter, and then I'm reading Raymond Chandler's uh, Cathedral Short Stories and Jojo Moya's Me Before You. And then I'm also listening to something on Audible, but I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Okay, so, anyway. My dog Tucker is like down here. He's like, Dad, what are you doing? Why are you always talking that? Do you want to see Tucker? Come here, honey. Come here, buddy. He says, Daddy, I don't like to be on camera. Isn't he cute? Now, this is Boo Radley's biological brother. See, he's, so, he's kind of fat like me. Yeah. He says, hi, wave to all the people. He's such a beauty. Anyway, okay. So those are the books that I'm currently reading. And like, I, I just, I have to get something else done. So I picked out like... <laughs> Hi. Nine or ten books that I'm going to read this month. And so here it is. First of all, this is not part of that, but Ashley and I are going to be reading uh, You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan. We're going to do this as a read-along. I'm super excited about it, and I'm actually going to get started on this tonight. I've heard really mixed reviews about it. I've heard that a lot of people have read it in like in one day. I've heard it's really, ow. <laughs> I've heard it's really cute. I've heard all these kinds of things. But yeah, so anyway, I'm excited about that. Um, and then actually... Uh, Maddie and I are reading Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I am really having a hard time getting in this book, you guys. Everybody tells me that once I get to like 100, I'll just like speed right through it. But like, I'm on page 8, 19 still. I just like, every time I go to pick up a book, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. Okay. And then Raymond Chandler's Cathedral. I just got my notice from the library today that this is due in uh, three days. And look, okay, I'm not very far. So I got to get on that. So those are my books that I'm reading right now. On Audible, I am listening to uh, Ricky Yancey's the Last Star, which is the third one in the Fifth Wave trilogy, I'm not loving it. I didn't love Infinite Sea, the Infinite Seas, is that what it's called, either? I just, like, did he, own, was his book, like, a one-hit wonder, the Fifth Wave, and the rest of the series sucks? Like, I don't know what's going on with him, right? And what's so funny is, I had to go to Christine's channel, 
to watch her review of the Infinite Sea because I didn't even remember it when it started. And I thought listening to it that it was Cassie talking and to find out that it was this other person that I didn't even remember in the books. Like, not great writing. So anyway, and I loved the fifth wave. I was so excited for that whole series. Now I remember it after watching her video, but anyway. Okay, so I will say that watching her video, I forgot that she does reviews and she gives books percentage uh, points for rating a book instead of one through five stars. And I'm like, oh, you know what, Christine? Because, you know, she and I talk every day. But I was like, that was a joke. I don't even know her. I would love to meet her. I think she's fantastic. She's gorgeous and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, and she's just real fun. I like her videos just crack the shit out of me. And I think she does really, really great reviews of books too. That's why I always go to her when I want to like find like, like if I forgot a book that I read or whatever, I always go to Christine's channel. You guys are probably like, isn't this your TBR? Why are you talking about Christine? Well, because I am. So anyway, um, but I thought that percentage rank thing worked would work really well for me instead of one through five stars. I don't know, the one through five stars. I was always kind of like, when I worked with kids, I'd have like gold and red and green stars and they'd be like, and blue, and they'd be like, well, which star means the highest? I'm like, I don't know, which, one, which color do you like the most? They'd be like, green. I'm like, well, you got a green star then. Here, go. Put it on your chest or whatever. I mean, you're a green star. And somebody else would come up and they'd be like, I like red. And I'd be like, red star. So it's like, I don't really like doing the star ratings. And I don't really like doing the percentage ratings either. But I do think that I need to start doing something. And I think that works best for me. So Christine, I'm sorry, but I'm stealing your idea. Okay. So the next thing is, God, I'm dropping books left and right. Um, oh my God, I just spilled my coffee. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> I've had this coffee for like eight hours now. And look, I still have that much left. You can send me Starbucks gift cards if you want. I'm joking. No, I'm serious. Okay. Seriously, not joking. Okay. So these two books I got at the library. I just took a shower not too long ago and did my hair, and it does not look cute at all. Okay. So I got Local Girls by Carolyn Zankin. I started reading it. You guys, I just don't think it's for me. And The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I'm super excited about reading this. So many of people have told me that they love it. I just don't think I can get to it this summer. And it's due back in the library in like a week. And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll just buy the book at Half Price Books and start reading it. So you might ask, what am I going to read this summer? Well, let's talk about my audiobooks. So I'm reading The Last uh, Star, and then the next book that I bought that I'm going to read is The Girls. I think it's by Emma Klein, and it's kind of a horror story, kind of like about this teenage girl, not a horror story, but this teenage girl that uh, joins this cult in the late 60s, and uh, very much like Helter Skelter. So a lot of people are doing reviews on it right now. I'm trying not to watch it because I'm going to listen to that book next. Excuse me. I'm really, really excited about that. And then after that, I am going to get the Audible version of The Book Thief. Because this book is just too long. I'm not going to read it this summer. My friend's daughter wants it back so she can give it to her boyfriend. So you're getting it back if you're watching my videos. She told me today, she's like, I'm always like five videos behind because you post so many videos. I'm like, catch up. Anyway, there are worse things in your life than having to catch up with my videos. I mean, seriously. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. And then there'll probably be a fourth or fifth book that I uh, listen to on Audible because I listen to books on Audible like constantly while I'm driving. So anyway, that's that. Then what you might ask, what are the nine or 10 books that you picked for the summer? So let me tell you, I am so, so excited. The first book I talked about in my last book haul, which is Gracefully Grayson, a novel by Annie Polonsky. I just looked, it came out and you guys came and see it. It came out in 2014 and it is about a transgender female and her gaining confidence and feeling comfortable in her own skin, they say on the back of it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I talked in my last video about how I think it's really important that we have a lot of trans fiction out there, especially for middle-aged kids and teenagers. Um, I don't think there's enough of it. I actually don't think there's enough LGBT fiction out there that's done appropriately or done correctly. And it's interesting because I get questions from a lot of writers. Like, I get emails a lot, and they'll say, I'm writing a gay character. Can you tell me if I'm doing this right or wrong? And I'm like, I'm just one experience, <laughs> you know? There's like millions of experiences out there. I cannot tell you what's right and what's wrong right from your heart. Um, but I will say this. I've never, I don't, I rarely read books that when I read them, I'm like, that gay character seemed fake. Like it seemed made up. Like if they're too stereotypical sometimes, but I mean, truth be told at 44, most stereotypes are based on some kind of truth somewhere in the world. So, I mean, it's not like they don't come from anywhere. So typically when I read a gay character, it's like I've known somebody like that in my life. Does that make sense? So I don't really think that 
gay characters can be done wrong. I think if they're done in a way that would bring harm to them or make them or talk down to them or uh, put them in a dangerous situation because they're gay, I don't care for that. So, because I think we have enough of that in the real world anyway, I don't think that we need that in fiction. But that's just my two cents. I'm sure other people feel differently. But anyway, I'm super excited about this book. It just looks happy and pretty and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so then the next book that I'm gonna read on the tales of talking about that is The Cemetery Boys by Heather Brewer. Somebody contacted me about this author and they said, you're gonna, somebody's gonna comment on this, so just be prepared that Heather Brewer is no longer Heather Brewer. Heather Brewer is Zach Brewer. Um, so I Googled and found out as Wikipedia that Heather Brewer is transitioning and is now Zach Brewer. And um, legal name change in 2015, all that kind of stuff. So I think that's really important that we have trans writers out there. And I'm super excited about this book. Um, it says that he grew up on Twilight Zone and uh, Stephen King. And I'm super, super excited about this. And so I think it's going to be like the best book ever. And I need a scary summer read for July. So I'm super excited about that. Then, going along the same kind of vein, my best friend recommended to me, and I do not like this cover. It's real waxy. Mm. <sighs> Candle wax on your book. I never do that kind of shit in real life. Anyway, The Sisters by Claire Douglas. One lied, one died. Do you know which one? Look at the shoes. You don't even need to read the book. Okay. Perfect for fans of The Girl on the Train. Grippingly claustrophobic, says Marie Claire. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's the magazine. Not to be confused with Claire Douglas. Marie Claire, is she a writer or are they talking about the magazine? I bet they're talking about the magazine. Because this is like not, I mean, you know. But I'm, my best friend said she couldn't put it down. So, I mean, if she said it, it's got to be the truth. Next book I'm going to read is The Last Chance Texco by Brent Hardiger. I think this is his first book that came out. I love Brent Hardiger. He wrote the Geography Club series. If you guys are looking for a really good series this summer, um, it's about this gay teenager. Uh, why can I not think of his name? I talk about him all the time. Russell Middlebrook. And um, kind of this love story that happens to him and this group that he joins. And it's a gay straight alliance, but they call it the Geography Club. You have to read the book to find out why. They made it into a movie, which is also on Netflix, I think, right now. But anyway, the series is like six books long. It is so fantastic. It is narrated by Josh Hurley on Audible, and you can also probably get it at your library. I found this hardback copy of Brent's book. Brent is a, fr uh, Brent is a good friend of mine, and um, he lives in Washington State. And look, it is a signed copy. I took a picture of it and sent it to him, and I go, Brent, I found your book in a Goodwill signed. Didn't even have to go to Barnes & Noble. Anything. So anyway, I'm super excited about that. I'm also going to read uh, More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Um, he has a book coming out this fall, I think, and he's super cute, and I follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and I think he's very charming, and I think, Adam, if you need a new best friend, I'm here for you, so, yeah, I'm really excited about reading that. Do you see there's kind of, like, a theme this summer? It's either very scary or very gay. I don't know what's going on there. And then the next book that I'm going to read is Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. I've loved Noggin and Where Things Come Back. I've loved them. I read them both, like, back to back and in, like, a week, and I loved them both, so I'm super excited about this book. There's a lot of reviews coming up on BookTube, and I'm trying not to read it. Okay, or watch them. The next book I'm going to read is We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach, and I love the cover, and then Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Modofsky. Now, let me tell you what's interesting about these two books, okay, is that I get about the same percentage either way. Like, 30% of people tell me they really did not like these books. And then, like, 70% of people are like, eh, it was okay, but I want to know really what you think about it. And then, like, 10% of people, that doesn't work out. 60% of people are like, eh, and then 10% of people, you see, like, I'm horrible at math, right, you guys? Like, oh, my God. Add in percentages to, I mean, <sighs> I'm a life coach. I'm not, and a counselor. I'm not a mathematician. So, anyway... Okay, but like then like 10% say they loved it. And then everybody's like, but we want to know what you think about it. What's funny is that typically when people say to me, I want to know what you think about these books, I typically end up loving those books. So I don't know. I have a feeling that I'm going to totally love these books. And they're kind of both really short reads, so I'm super excited about it. Oh, my God, I just looked, and there's somebody named Peter in this we all looked up. And I love when there's my name is in a book because I'm famous like that. Oh, my God, I saw it again. Oh, my God, look. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> It's the small things, children. Anyway, what are you guys reading for July? So here's the deal. I'm taking all my other books and I'm putting them on the bookshelf. And then... <laughs> I'm, I need some calm. And then I'm just going to leave those 9 or 15 or 25 books out so that I know which books to choose from because it'll be easier for me that way. Anyway. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, what a mess. Anyway, I love you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Follow me on all of my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anything. I will follow you back if I can. I sometimes I see you, sometimes I don't. Anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.